Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, thanks for clicking on my video today. Uh, thanks for subscribing and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm here at San Fernando Mission Cemetery. Got a lot of famous graves in here. But the first one I noticed as I walked in, we got a Dodger fan here. Los Angeles Dodgers. If you come over this direction, straight ahead, you'll find Mrs. Anderson. So if you come in the main entrance, uh, park where my white truck is, and walk about 45 degrees, you'll find a gravesite location of Jane White. She had one of those very successful Hollywood marriages. She got married in 1935. Uh, she's married to Edgar until his death in uh, 2000. Edgar got rich setting down. He was an investment banker. All right, and from here, if we go out this direction, straight ahead, you'll find the gravesite of Richie Valens. Some famous graves are easier to find than others, especially Richard Val Valenzuela because he has fresh flowers on his grave every time I'm here. Richie Valens with his mother. He won a coin toss with Tommy Alsup, and that's how he got a seat on the plane. So, we got Richie Valens, Buddy Holly, J.P. Richardson. I've been to all their graves, but Roger Peterson, a pilot. Dies way too young. He's also close to the main entrance, too. Jane Wyatt's over here. Richie Valens right here. Okay, as we continue our cemetery tour. Out this direction, you'll find the grave of William Frawley. The story is William Frawley calls up Lucille Ball and says he would like to uh, do the landlord character. Here's William Frawley now. Sorry about the shadow. Dies at age 79, just outside the Knickerbocker Hotel where he lived. And they carried him in, laid him on the couch. He ends up dying. Uh, next to uh, William Frawley, we got John and Paul, the Ludd brothers. So Desi Arnaz liked the idea, but he wanted Frawley uh, to play it as a uh, gr grumpy landlord. But CBS wasn't so excited about it because of uh, Frawley's reputation of drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> but Desi says that he was a complete gentleman, always on time, was the first to learn his lines, was a professional, never had any issues. One interesting thing that Frawley had in his contract with I Love Lucy is if the Yankees made the World Series, he didn't have to work. So there's actually two episodes of I Love Lucy where their grumpy landlord, Fred Mertz, isn't around. As we make our way out this way, you'll recognize the name of a... Uh, of a Western cowboy.
coming up on the gravesite of Ed Bagley. Co-starred in a lot of uh, cowboy westerns. Strong character, played the part well. Perhaps his spouse is still alive, I don't know. So, so far, just to give you an orientation, we got Jane Wyatt straight out there. Over here, Richie Valens. Then next to this tree by the road, Fred Mertz, William Frawley. Okay, if we cross the road and head out uh, to about the middle of the, uh, of the cemetery, we'll come across the grave of Walter Brennan, the Real McCoys. Uh, right next to the road, if you come to this trash can, you'll find Walter Brennan. Looks like Ruth lived many years after Walter. A couple of interesting things, actually three things I want to mention about uh, Walter Brennan is he was exposed to a chemical when he's in the military and it caused his voice to squeak at times. The second thing that happened, uh, he was kicked in the mouth, lost his front teeth uh, during, during a scene when he's in Hollywood. Uh, the first two, he claims, helped his career his voice and when he took his false teeth out it made him look 25 years older. The third thing is at age 67 he records an album and it's a top five, top five album. I'll let you look it up because it's a good song. It's a good album a couple of really good songs on it. I'll let you look them up. Now if we go straight across this area, this area is called D as in Dog. Uh, this cemetery does a nice job in uh, providing directions to the grave sites. Uh, next to the curb will have numbers and then they'll tell you how many rows you go up from that number to find a grave location. So it makes things easier here. For example, you come to uh, 169 on the curb, and then you count 23 rolls up to find a grave location of the individual I'm looking for. So let's go up there. Another thing that happens more than you think is I'll stumble across another famous grave as I look for the one I was searching for. So here we got George Goble. Looks like he's a military veteran. Uh, he was a, a comedian in his 60s and 70s. I also remember uh, him on, uh, on game shows like um, Match Game, Password, What's my line? George Goble. But the individual I was looking for is Chief Parker, William Parker. Police Chief, LAPD. The Parker Center is named after him. You may have heard of it if you followed the OJ trial. When they arrested OJ, OJ they took him to the Parker Center 
named after the chief of police right here. He was chief from 1950 to 1966 upon his death. Had some controversy. Uh, they say they say he was a racist. Uh, was verbally abusive. I don't know. That's just what they say. But regardless, the old police station is named after him. The Parker Center. Now, if we make our way out this direction, about 45 degrees, we'll find somebody that you won't recognize the name, but you'll recognize the voice. <coughs> Here's the voice of Donald Duck, Clarence Dash. He had the best Donald Duck, Donald and Daffy Duck and Daisy Duck. He did all the voices, all the duck voices, including the cousins. So Walt Disney hears Clarence Nash in, in one of the uh, offices, a, a talent scout. Uh, he was trying out for a different voice. I think it was a lone wolf. And Walt Disney asked him if, uh, if he can do a duck. So Nash comes up with the duck voice of Donald Duck. Now we'll make our way across, uh, clear across the road here, uh, down quite a distance. I'll share a sad story with you. Headed to a gravesite of Michelle Avila, uh, her friends, and her mother called her Missy. Uh, looks like she's had some recent visitors here. I was here yesterday uh, doing some videos on some other other famous people and I walked by here and this is pretty dirty then and looks like it's been cleaned up and some fresh flowers left these are real beautiful Uh, Missy died at the hands of a couple of jealous friends, high school friends, if you can call them friends. They were jealous because she was thin, pretty, had long, beautiful hair. Uh, they accused her of hanging out with their boyfriends, which turned out not to be true. So they trick her into going down to a uh, to a canyon there was some water running through and they they uh, drown her they force forcefully drown her in about eight six eight inches of water by putting a log on her head and neck area held her underwater and walked off sad story in fact there's a movie about it missy avila sad all right if we head out this way go across the road we'll find a gravesite of the rifleman Chuck Connors easy way to find Chuck Connors come over here to 120 on the curb Look for number 120 and start walking up towards the center here where the statues are. You'll run into the rifleman. Okay, here we go.
Kevin Chuck Connors his royal first name's Kevin he didn't like that name although he named one of his boys Kevin played for the Cubs the Dodgers this would be Brooklyn Dodgers and Boston Celtic six foot six quite an athlete tall guy he realized early in his uh, professional career as a ball player that he'd have a better chance at making it as an actor than he would as a ball player Chuck Connors, The Rifleman. It's still a popular show today. You can catch it on YouTube. Dies in 92. Look at this, this is kind of disrespectful. Uh, this is why there's a rule in cemeteries, no pets. Well, that pretty much wraps this one up. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Uh, this is a pretty good place. I like coming here. It, it seems to be well managed. They're friendly. Uh, they're, they're camera friendly. Uh, some places aren't. I've been chased off before, but I try to, I try to do everything uh, very respectfully. If there's a service going on, uh, I stay away. You know, I, I stay away. So, uh, if you check my channel out, I've done some individual videos on some of these grave locations. So, uh, check them out. I appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe. Thumbs up, comments are always great too. So, catch on the next one.